Hi everyone, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. This week I'm so excited. I have a new Beltress style to show you. This is Destiny by Beltress in the color Mocha with Cream. I've been waiting for this style for a while. I pre-ordered her and I'm just so happy to finally have her and be able to show her to you. Before we start, I wanted to mention that I'm an admin for Wig Studio One's Wig and Topper Support Group on Facebook, and I purchased Destiny with my employee discount. So let's go ahead and look at some of the details. I have not styled Destiny at all or done any changing of the part line or anything. So we'll get a good look at her first and then we'll talk about how I might uh, style her. So first we have that zigzag parting, but it does have a mono part. So we will get a good look at that later once we change the part. And we have bangs here. As you can see, there are some longer um, bangs and I'm trying to decide if I'm going to trim those or if we're going to side sweep them. I think you could absolutely do both. But here's the lace front. It is a beautiful, natural lace front. So even if you are wearing bangs, uh, if the wind blows, you know, you will have that natural hairline there. So I love that feature and it is an extended lace front. We will look at the cap construction later. And then you have these heat friendly fibers, which are wonderful, very uh, natural looking and not at all too shiny. And the bob has a little bit of texture to it, um, a little bit of a wave pattern, very subtle, but I think just enough to make these fibers look very realistic and for this not to just be your classic, uh, you know, bob style. This, I think, looks much more sort of updated and uh, modern and uh, very realistic, actually. And I'll, I'll be very curious to see what she looks like once we uh, work with the bangs a little bit. But let's get a good look from all sides. Here she is from the right. And the back. And the left. So absolutely, just a fun little bob style. I think this will be wonderful for the summertime and uh, anyone who enjoys the bangs as well. So next we will look at the cap construction. We will work with these bangs. We'll look at different styling options. I'll take her outside so you can see this beautiful color in natural light. And uh, then I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, so here we have the cap construction. As you can see, we have a center mono part and an extended lace front comes about halfway down the ear tab on both sides. And I just love that because that uh, gives you that appearance of natural hair growth all along that lace front. And uh, you have soft ear tabs with metal stays. You have a standard nape, not an extended nape. But uh, this cap is actually very roomy. And just so you know, Beltress caps tend to fit slightly larger than average anyway. And this cap is no exception. It's extremely comfortable for my 22 inch circumference. You do have these bra strap style adjusters that you can loosen and tighten. I left them exactly where they were when the wig came. So um, that is wonderful. And then you have the wefting in the back and on the sides and a really nice and stretchy cap. So I love that. Now I did check for permatease on the style and I can tell you it's very minimal. I found just the tiniest bit of permatease uh, on either side of the part line here and there might be a little bit in other areas but it's really very minimal and I would say this style is probably about light to medium density is what I would call it. Um, and before we go to the next segment, I wanted to show you the silicone tape that I'm going to apply to the part line just so that we have that illusion of scalp once we change that part. And I like to use the AWD silicone, uh, medical silicone scar tape, and I will leave that in the description box down below. So all we need to do is just remove the tape from the backing and place it on that part line. Just like that. And uh, you can easily remove this again. And I usually even wash my wigs with this tape on there and it doesn't come off. So I love that. It's a wonderful solution. So next we'll go ahead and work on the bangs. 
All right, so she's back on my head. So let's go ahead and see what we wanna do about these bangs. As I mentioned before, these bangs are definitely on the long side and you can see um, that the hairline is where it should be. Um, I definitely, I test it and I look and I, I know that that is the proper placement. So these bangs are definitely too long to be worn this way. If you're going to wear the bangs down, you could side sweep them um, and we'll see what that looks like. First, I wanna change the part line. We have that zigzag part line and I placed that silicone tape under there. So let's see, with my rat tail comb here, I'm going to go ahead and change that into a more straight part and see if we can see this illusion of scalp. I think you can, but I can't. Let me move the bangs. Yes. That is looking much better. You can now see that, uh, you can see that appearance of scalp. I may need to play with that a little more off camera, but I like that. And let's see where these fibers want to fall now. <clears throat> it is such a cute little style. Um, I think it's pretty swept to the side like that, but I think I want to try trimming the bangs and really wearing this style the way I believe it was intended to be worn, and that is with a bang. So I will go ahead and get my tools together so that we can do that. And I also noticed on the sides here, this side, the right side, is a little bit longer than the left, you can see. So I definitely am a fan of symmetry usually. So I think I will trim this side just a tiny bit as well so that it's the same length on both sides. So let me go ahead and get my shears and we'll start trimming the bangs. Before we cut the bangs, <clears throat> I did want to let you know, I noticed that now that we've changed that part line, the fibers that um, were zigzagged before are falling forward quite a bit more than they were. And I don't wanna make a heavier bang. I want to keep these longer pieces long. So even though this is a style that has bangs, I think I will go ahead and steam these longer pieces so that they stay back a little bit more in place and then we can work on the bangs. So I'll go ahead and clip them because they are kind of directed forward and wanting to fall forward quite a bit. So. And we're just going to be steaming the surface here. So I have my iSteam steamer, which if you've been watching my videos, you know that I love to use this to style both synthetic and heat friendly synthetic fibers. And we are not going to be steaming the front at all this time, just that part line to keep these fibers away from the face a little bit. So here we go. So you don't wanna stay in any one place too long. Just direct that steam at those fibers. You could also use heat tools um, because these are heat friendly synthetic fibers. I believe Beltress recommends a maximum of 350 degrees Fahrenheit for their fibers, but I'm just uh, very comfortable with the steamer. So I think that works well for me. And you wanna keep the steam away from any of the monofilament or lace features and really just steam the fibers. All right. I think that's good. And uh, now I need to let that cool because the new style sets uh, once the fibers are cool. And then we will finally uh, work on those bangs. So I think we'll go ahead and leave uh, the fibers in the clips because we actually need the longer fibers clipped back anyway to be able to trim these bangs. And uh, I'm going to show you a technique. I've watched a few videos from Sam Villa uh, on YouTube and I highly recommend them. Um, I think they are wonderful uh, tutorials for how you can easily trim your own bangs uh, at home if you feel comfortable doing so. Of course, you can also ask a stylist uh, to trim your wig. I would just let them know uh, whether it's synthetic or human hair. But uh, yeah, I think we will just trim these a little bit. Now, if you wanted more of a bend in the bangs, um, I would absolutely do that first uh, because that will affect the length, of course, once you cut the bangs. But I think 
I like the shape of them. I just want them to be a little bit shorter. And now, of course, what this technique, this twisting technique accomplishes is you're going to be trimming the fibers so that uh, the fringe ends up a little longer on the sides and a little shorter in the center because you're over directing the fibers is my understanding. Uh, I'm in no way uh, a hairstylist and uh, I think you can tell that. Um, but let's go ahead and see what we can accomplish. I have trimmed bangs before and I'll leave a link to a video I have down below uh, for another method that you could use, but I wanted to use this twist method this time. I've done this method before as well and I think it's just nice and easy. Now the key that I wanna uh, emphasize is that you cut a little bit at a time and I would cut them longer than you want them to be ultimately the first time you trim them so that you can always cut more. Of course, you can't grow them back so uh, absolutely, I would cut them a little longer to begin with, but what we're doing now is just making the fibers nice and smooth and you need to hold this as close to your nose as possible. You don't want to be, you know, directing the fibers outward. You're holding them down, make it nice and smooth, and then we're going to twist and we're twisting with the hand that we're cutting with once and then you add your other hand and do it a second time. So you, that's the twist that you've created. And now you have the fibers here. And I would start with somewhere, you know, maybe at the tip of your nose or just a little above to see the length that you want. And you could either blunt cut if that's the look that you're interested in, or I'm going to just do little vertical snips like this so that it's not such a straight blunt cut. All right, so wish me luck. Try not to cut your fingers, of course and I recommend doing it without recording a video simultaneously. All right, I think that might be good. Let's go ahead and release and see what we have. I might try to add a little bend just to see if um, maybe this is where we want to stop. So. I have my uh, Hot Tools plastic hot air brush. I love this tool. You can use this on synthetic or heat friendly synthetic fibers. Okay, and we will just add a little bend to those bangs. I am definitely liking that better, but I think it's still too long. So let's go ahead and trim it one more time. Check the placement, the hairline, that it's where you want it to be. All right, we'll do this one more time. Gather the fibers. Let's go ahead and remove the clips. And I just refresh all of that. The beauty of this is you can customize this exactly the way you want it to be. And if I lean forward, those longer fibers are staying back, so that's wonderful. I think I like it parted going this way. All right, that is how I want to style her. And I love that. I think that is such a pretty look. So next, we'll go ahead and we'll look at some styling options. First, I wanted to mention, since these are heat-friendly synthetic fibers, you could absolutely add more waves to this style if you prefer a little bit more of a, a voluminous look. And uh, I think she really has the ability to look really either voluminous or a little more sleek, which is what I tend to prefer. So that's one option that you have. And then I always like to test the ear tuck. You could do a full tuck or a half tuck. And I think that's really cute with a bob style like this. Uh, of course, the other side as well. And let's maybe look at both sides tucked, just in case you like to do that throughout the day. I think that is very practical. Then you could play with some half updos. I think it's a little short for a ponytail, at least on my 22 inch circumference, but 
Um, I think you could certainly pin back fibers and try different styles in that way. I want to show you the headband because I think it makes a very cute little headband style. Just pull those fibers back, make sure the bangs are out. And that's very practical. It really keeps those fibers off of your face and you still have this wonderful fringe to, to soften the look. So I love that. I'm going to go ahead and put the headband on with the bangs pulled back so that you can see the hairline and that lace front, that extended lace front. So again, we have that soft looking hairline and this lace front goes all the way from here to here on me on both sides and provides that natural looking hairline so that if the wind does blow, it looks extremely natural. And then the ear tabs end here on me on both sides. I'll bend it up back down. I do have a low hairline and so some of my bio hair is showing. It's a little hard to see. It's a similar color as this rooting. Um, but uh, I think, you know, you can compare your measurements to mine. All my measurements are listed in the description box down below. So a really wonderful cap construction and natural looking hairline, whether you are wearing the bangs down or if you've left the bangs a little bit longer and you're side sweeping them, I think you can see that that will provide you with quite a bit of really natural looking coverage. So next, I think we'll go ahead and take Destiny outside and get a good look at this beautiful color in natural light. Uh, first, I'll read you the color code and it is 2R, and that's the root, that dark brown rooting, 613, 30, and 6. And the description is, it is a rich, darkest brown root, as you can see, quite dark and a bit of a contrast with that scalp appearance that we created. And then you have a blend of dark brown, dark chocolate brown and cinnamon. And I absolutely see cinnamon tones throughout. I think it's so pretty. And then you have milk chocolate, cool blonde, and light blonde highlights. That is the full description. And to help us understand that a bit more, I have the sample from the coloring. So first I'll show you while well, we have the rooting. Let's look at that. So all three samples show you that dark rooting, which is what we have here. Very dark rooting, but it is absolutely, uh, I think, very natural looking, not too long of a root and uh, matches my bio hair surprisingly well, if any of that shows. So I'm just a big fan of rooted colors and this is a gorgeous color and I can't wait to try more styles in this color. So then you have the darkest color in the blend is this chocolate brown, if you can see that. And it's hard to kind of identify where that is. It's just blended in so nicely. Then we have this cinnamon and this is what I'm seeing a lot of, especially out here in the natural light. It really picks up on these lighter colors and that is just beautiful. And then we have the blonde. I see a little bit here in the bangs, little chunks of uh, blonde highlights in the bangs that are very pretty and throughout. So those are the three colors we have. It's a very interesting, rich color. Uh, and I think anyone who enjoys a brunette and auburn colors would love this color. Let's go ahead and get a good look. Well, let's look at that part line. And if the wind blows, this is what you'll see. All right, let's look at her from all sides. Here she is from the right. And the back. And the left. As you can see, a gorgeous, warm brunette color. And I think it works really well with this cute little bob style with bangs. Okay, so final thoughts. Destiny here is a very pretty modern bob with beautiful fibers that look very natural, that are not very shiny at all in my opinion. And uh, in this color, mocha with cream, that I think is also a very edgy color with that dark rooting and the cinnamon and brown and blonde, just a little bit of everything in it. So I love that color and I think it suits this little bob style with bangs very nicely. 
I think um, you absolutely have to know what you want to do with the bangs. If you would prefer to side sweep them or if you like to have bangs, I think you can very easily cut bangs uh, into Destiny or trim them, I should say. I often get that question with a number of wigs uh, about whether bangs can be cut and I think normally you can. Uh, I don't really see why not, but it really helps, at least for me, uh, to have some bangs that are ready to just be trimmed. You're not starting from scratch. So, you know, the section of, of fibers has already been created for the bang. So I think that is wonderful. And I think uh, bangs just add such a nice soft look and hide the wrinkles if that's something you're concerned about. Um, so overall, I think just a really pretty modern little bob and very easy to wear can be pulled back the density is not too high so you can easily tuck her or pull her back in a headband or maybe in a little clip on top there so absolutely some versatility even though this is a shorter style so i highly recommend this little style i think the cap is very comfortable and uh, she's just as pretty as can be I hope as always that my review has been helpful and informative and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.